Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice, quick and easy exponential system of equations. I call it a system because we have two equations. In case you didn't know, we have 2 to the power x equals 36 and 3 to the power y equals 36. And we're supposed to evaluate 1 over x plus 1 over y. We've done similar problems before. This one is also not too hard. Hopefully you'll find it easy too. Please let me know. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. And I'll try to make some videos later on uh, where we use the second method first. So we have 2 to the x equals 36. Okay. What does that imply? It implies that I can log both sides with base 2 or just use the definition if you think about it like log right? The base is 2, and you want to get uh, 36 as a result, so we start with the result, and then we put the exponent on the right-hand side. That's how the definition works. If you don't like this, then you can log both sides with base 2, and it'll give you the exact same thing. It's just going to be more work, but kind of like a more guaranteed, surefire way to do it. Some people like it that way, and that's totally fine. So now you can move the x to the front, getting log 2 with base 2, which is 1. So this is going to become x equals log 36 with base 2. Awesome. So we got a value of x. So if you have a calculator, you can go ahead and evaluate it. But don't do it because we want the exact answer. And this is the exact answer. If you use a calculator, it's going to approximate it. So it's not going to be exact. Make sense? So sometimes people ask, what is the exact value of square root of 2? It is the square root of 2. Nothing can be more exact, okay? Even if you have a billion digits, because it's not going to stop and it's not going to repeat. That's what's interesting about these numbers. Anyways, let's do the same thing for 3 to the power y, but similarly, it's going to be very similar. You're going to get, but this time, yes, it makes more sense if you use base 3, Absolutely, not base 2. I mean, you can stick with the same base, but I would argue that base 3 is better. And move the y, y times log 3, 3, which is 1, y equals log 36 with base 3. So x and y are both log 36, but notice that they are different bases. So the base matters, right? In other words, this is the question you're asking. Okay, x is the number, uh, so when I raise 2 to the power of that, it equals 36. So 2 to the power what number equals 36? The, the answer is x. 3 to the power what number is 36? The answer is y. And if I ask you which one is larger, hopefully you can tell me that um, x is going to be larger because the base is smaller. To get to 36, you have to raise it to a higher power. Literally, a higher power. Okay, cool. So... What am I supposed to do? I forgot. Okay, never mind. It's 1 over x plus 1 over i. That's what I was supposed to find, right? Okay, so I'm supposed to find the sum of the reciprocals. Why not x plus y? Now think about it. If I ask you to find x plus y, you would get, you would just add these, right? And it won't be interesting at all because it, this would be the answer. But take a look. These numbers are the same. So what happens if I flip x and y? You'll see how that works. So 1 over x plus 1 over y is going to be 1 over, obviously this is not, I shouldn't put an equal sign, but this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, x plus y is equal to that, but I'm not looking for that. So it's just going to be this, 1 over that, and 1 over this. Easy, right? You just write the reciprocals. Cool. But here's something that is important to know. If you write the reciprocal of a logarithmic expression, such as 1 over log a with base b, then this becomes log b with base a. So these numbers actually switch around when you take the reciprocal. Make sense? It's a really nice property of logs. You should definitely know it. Super duper helpful. You can prove it with change of base. Again, change of base is very powerful. It's amazing. From here, we get 1 over x plus, I can't emphasize it enough. This gives me log 2 with base 36. And this gives me log 3 with base 36. Awesome. Now, this is cool because I got the same base. And if I have two logs with the same base, I can combine them. Right? How does that work? If you have 
log A and log B, but make sure they're in the same base, then you can just write them as the log of a product. So the sum of logs turns into the log of a product, which is super duper helpful, right? Don't you think? So this becomes log two times three, which is six. So I got to this number. Okay, that's progress, right? How am I going to evaluate it, right? Suppose you didn't know what it meant. But if you think about it, 36 to the power what number equals 6? I'm pretty sure you know the answer. But let's pretend we don't know what it is. And set it equal to T. We're overusing T these days. We should use coffee sometimes. Or Coke. I don't know. Or uh, Fanta. Whatever. Whatever your favorite drink is. So... By using definition, this is going to become 36 to the power t equals 6. Oh, 36 is 6 squared, isn't it? Okay. Then this becomes 6 to the power 2, 6, and 2t, and 2t, or not 2t, I got it again. 2t equals 1, and t equals 1 half. Okay, you could also think about this. It's a lot easier to think about it this way. 36 to the power what number is 6? It is 1 half because 1 half power means square root. So the square root of 36 is 6. In other words, if you see a number here and it's square root, the answer is always 1 half. Isn't that cool? Just think about it. Okay, so 1 half is the answer. That brings us to the end of the first method. But you could also do this with the first method. So it's kind of like a 1b. x equals ln 36 over ln 2. Where does this come from? Okay, log... 6 with 36. Use change of base, right? And y is ln 36 over ln 3. And then we're going to add 1 over x plus 1 over y, which is ln 2 over ln 36 plus ln 3 over ln 36. Uh-oh, two fractions with the same denominator. I can't help add them, right? Just add them. ln 2 plus ln 3 over ln 36. But this can be combined into you know, ln 6 over ln 36. ln 36 is ln 6 squared. Allow me to write it that way and move the 2 to the front to ln 6. Cancel out and you end up with 1 half. That's what's beautiful about math. You can follow different paths. You'll arrive at the same answer if you follow the right paths. There's more than one. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method real quick because it is real quick. That's why it's the second method. Second method is usually real quick. So what am I looking at? I have 2 to the x equals 36 and 3 to the y is 36. And from here I get the following. Raise both sides to the power 1 over x. What do you get? x cancels out and you get 2 equals 36 to the power 1 over x. From here you get 3 equals 36 to the power 1 over y. Remember, we're looking for 1 over x plus 1 over y, so why not multiply these? 6 equals 36 to the power 1 over x plus 1 over y, and this becomes 1 half because that means the square root. You see how beautiful that is? That's what I love about my second methods. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.